If you are afraid of creating multiple drives for your bootable drives, then you are in the right place. Hey welcome guys, this is Linux Nox and in this video, we are going to see how to create multi-bootable ISO drive using Ventoy tool. This tool is much useful for creating multi-bootable ISO drive. So without waiting anymore, let's jump right in. Open your browser and simply search for Ventoy and here you will find the official site of Ventoy to download the tool. So here's the official website of Ventoy tool. Click on download to download the software of Ventoy. And here as you can see that it is available for both Linux as well as Windows. You can use for Windows by extracting the zip folder and you can also use it in Linux. If you want to download then it will redirect you to the GitHub page then here you will find Ventoy 10.14 windows.zip file. Here you have to download this file. I have already downloaded it so I am not downloading it. Also there are some tools which are required to format your USB drive. So I am here using SD formatter for, your, for formatting the USB drive. And here this is the official page of SD formatter. So click on downloads and here you will find SD memory card formatter. So click on that option. It will redirect you to the page of download uh, that uh, here it is available for Windows and Mac as well. So I am a Windows user so I am selecting Windows. So now it will redirect you to the terms and conditions page of uh, SD formatter. So now here you have to accept the terms and condition and simply it will redirect you to the download option. So I have already downloaded the software since I am not downloading it. For creating a multi bootable ISO drive, I am using a 32 GB pen drive for flashing the Ventoy tool. So now plug in the pen drive and uh, here you have to make sure that uh, you have backed up your important files from the pen drive. So I am here opening the SD formatter software for uh, formatting the pen drive. So this is the overall interface of SD formatter. Uh, here as you can see my drive is already selected. It is S drive of uh, the pen drive. So you have to simply click on format and make sure you don't have any label here. So now click on format and again click on OK. So as you can see it is formatted. The pen drive is uh, ready to use and flash the pen toy tool. So here as you can see I have already downloaded the Ventoy tool so I will extract this uh, zip file. Open the Ventoy folder and uh, here you will find the setup file of Ventoy. So click on the setup.exe file. So as you can see this is a very clean uh, interface of uh, Ventoy tool here and uh, your pen drive is uh, already selected so you have to simply click on install to flash that Ventoy tool into your pen drive. It will show you some warnings related to format the SD card again but uh, you have to click on yes and here as you can see it will uh, take a while to complete the overall flashing process of Ventoy tool into the pen drive.
okay so here's the flashing process has been done it will show you the congratulation message and click on ok now as you can see my pen drive is now renamed with venta.h so now you have to simply copy your ISO files of multiple operating systems so I'm here copying the Windows 10 uh, ISO file and you have to simply paste that ISO file into your pen drive that is uh, flashed with Ventoy tool now after copying the multiple ISO into your pen drive you have to simply restart or you can also shut down your PC to jump into Ventoy tool and here my PC is getting started and you have to select the boot menu option in which we will select the USB drive to boot with the Ventoy tool so here uh, I am giving setting the priority so first drive is selected as USB send disk drive now you have to go on boot device priority and uh, select the first boot device as USB send disk now by clicking F10 the settings will be saved and uh, it will restart with the Ventoy tool USB drive so here as you can see this is the overall interface for Ventoy I have copied Windows 10, Ubuntu and Zorin OS into this USB drive and uh, let me show you to boot uh, any of uh, ISO so I am here selecting Zorin OS for booting up so here it is the Zorin OS has been booted up for, with the Ventoy tool So that's all for this video guys. Please like, share and subscribe Linux Knox for more updates related to Linux. Thank you.